I can't decide whether to continue reviewing or just sing along with this song. Who else has goosebumps? It may not be you've got the touch, but it does come close. Although, miles away from Dare to be Stupid, let's be honest, Weird Al was the man. Whoa, time to transform. <laughs> What we're watching here is Transformers Multiplayer. This is Transformers The War for Cybertron Multiplayer over Xbox Live. This game works well in multiplayer, however it does suffer from unbelievably boring maps. Please give us some new map packs with more color. Other than that, it's well set up and I had no connection or lag problems in my games. You can sort of create your own Transformer, I named mine Carnage Bot. You can also play as the Transformers from the game, including a couple that you unlock, like RC from Transformers the Movie. You've got to give RC credit as one of the only female Transformers. Surrounded by a bunch of hormone-crazed guys that transform into tanks, she holds her own and kicks ass. She so totally wants Hot Rod. Because she's a huge fan of The Breakfast Club. Man, everybody was in that movie. Spock, Citizen Kane, the Micro Machines guy, and one part of Monty Python. You can't go wrong with Transformers the movie. Now, I don't know that I would recommend running out and buying Transformers War for Cybertron exclusively for multiplayer because while it works, it's not the highlight of the game. The campaign mode is the highlight of Transformers War for Cybertron because it's just amazing. And you can play it co-op and I don't know, I, I just liked it so much I could play it again and again and again because I like Transformers and I like this game. What's even better than multiplayer though is the escalation mode. It's like the Call of Duty zombie levels from World at War. Very similar, or like Horde from Gears of War 2, Firefight from ODST. The survival mode just never gets old for me. It most closely resembles Activision's own Call of Duty World at War because you have to purchase your weapons and health with experience earned during the gameplay. As wave after wave of enemies attack you from every direction. In fact, if you like the Call of Duty World at War Zombie survival levels and the Transformers game, you'll obviously be quite happy with this. I had no problem finding a couple games out there to play in, but like any survival mode, people always drop out and then you're left, uh, you know, being eaten by zombies, or in this case, robots. So you're probably best off playing with your friends, but it's just so much fun when you do. And for the record, I'm disappointed that Soundwave does not transform into a cassette player boombox. Blasting enemies with bad music. And that concludes the review. Transformers War for Cybertron gives you an incredible campaign mode that you can play co-op with up to three people total. With you and two of your friends. You get multiplayer, which is not the highlight of the game, but it works, and it does work well. And even better than that is the Escalation Mode, which is basically the Survival Mode from Call of Duty World at War with Zombies, except with Transformers. An excellent job, and they even left it open for a sequel if you know Transformers, the cartoon. You already know where it's going, and I hope to be fighting some Decepticons on top of a dam for Energon Cubes, and please, it's time for the Dinobots to get their own game at this point. Grimlock has an ego that can't be contained. Transform!